Hello everybody, this is Jeff Bain with Team Real in the Blues. If you follow me on Facebook or if you're a subscriber to my YouTube channel, you've seen here lately I've been doing a lot more crappy fishing videos. Well, doing crappy fishing videos has got that old fire lit back up in me to go out and night fish for them. Now here in the south, I'm in North Carolina. Believe it or not, we night fish for crappy all year long, even in the dead of winter time. One of my best nights night fishing was about 10 years ago. It was 14 degrees out. I'm listening to Christmas music and I was fishing three foot deep and 30 foot of water and I caught two crappie over three pounds. Barely, but they were both over three pounds. So this time of year you can get some monster crappie. Well, since that fire got lit back up, I started looking at lights and looking at different websites to see what kind of lights were out there. Well, I ordered me two lights from a company called Illumacy. I'll put a link to their uh, webpage on here. But I finally got my package, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share with you opening my package. Let's see what we got. Uh, you can see they sent it out to me right away. I got it pretty quick. Didn't take very long at all. I got it under a promotion and it was actually free shipping, which was nice. Just go to their website, you know, and see what they have. And they got promotions going on every once in a while. Wow. That's a heavy light. Uh, I got the bright and I got the mini. Well, the first thing I say is the mini. Let's do it first. Let's see what we got here. The mini is very compact, very compact. But from what their website says, this here's got around 3,400, 3,500 lumens. That's amazing out of such a compact little light. Good looking clips, and it's got a really long cord. I'm not sure about the length of this cord, but I know the cord on the big one is like 30 foot. And this looks like it's it's a pretty long cord as well. So far, I'm pretty impressed with it. We'll have to see what kind of light this puts out. All right, first I'm gonna take and turn on the mini. Now reading the instructions, it says not to use these outside the water. So I'm just gonna light it up for just a second just to give you a, a little idea of exactly how much light these things put off. All right, let's see. Oh, wow. I don't know if you can see that. It may hurt your eyes. It may even blow my camera out where you can't even see the thing. But that is putting off a lot of light. I can't even look at it. This is the mini. Oh, yeah. These things put off a little bit of warmth. This is the mini. But here's the one I'm curious about. This one is the bright... Real bright bite, high powered LED fishing light. This one puts out over 20,000 lumens. Well, there's a, this is who I got it from, a Lumacy. Let's see what we got here. First of all, I'm pretty impressed. It actually comes with a bag to store the light in, and where you can keep it put up and it don't get messed up, the cord don't get tangled up, don't get broken up. I like that, I like that a lot. The reason why I wanted this particular light is because of this right here. It's got a dimmer switch. And so that way, what the advantage of having that would be, and I've never seen a light that has it, except for like for home use, is when I'm fishing I got a light out, what I like to do is to get as much light in the water as I possibly can right off the bat. And then after the bait starts drawing in, the bait will get close to the light, but if that light's super bright, it always forms a little tornado off to the sides of it. And that's where I catch a lot of my bigger crappie is not directly under the light, but more in the shadows. But what you can do with this is, and we're gonna test this thing out, is you put it in the water, you draw as much bait to the light as you possibly can by as bright as you can. Then once you get the bait drawn in, you can reduce the amount of wattage that you're putting out so you can reduce the amount of light you're putting out. When you do that, it'll draw the bait even closer to the boat. And by drawing them in closer to make them a little bit less spooked because of so much light, you'll have more shadow, and I think you'll catch more fish under it. I'm looking forward to using that. Next thing I see is the clips are real good looking clips. Nice, strong clips. And again, this is a compact light for the amount of lumens this thing supposedly puts out. Nice and solid. 
I think this one's got a five-year warranty. Uh, I'll put it in the description. I'll correct it if I'm wrong. Okay, so now we're going to try out the, the uh, real bright bite. We'll see exactly what kind of light this thing puts out. Now, like I say, this one's got a dimmer switch, so we'll see what this one will do. If that other one was 3,500 lumens, I hate to see what this is going to look like. All right, we'll barely light it. Wow. Wow. That is unreal. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cut her back off. See, you see how you can dim it? I'm going to go ahead and cut this one off because that's just way too bright to be in here using it without a light. Whew. Woo! Wow. If that puts off half as much in the water, this is going to be an unreal light. Hope I can get a couple pictures after uh, this video and put them up. But let's see here. It's got a five year warranty and a th five year warranty and a 30 day guarantee. You can't ask for much better than that. It's good up to 150 foot rating on it. And this has a 30 foot power cord. It's a very heavy light. I can't say enough about it. Can't wait to actually get this thing in the water and see what we get out of it. The uh, looks like it's got a connector on it. I like this plug. What it is, it's got a waterproof connector so that you can take this thing and take these plugs off of it. And that way you can hook this to an inverter. That way you can run this thing off of 110 or 220. Man, that's pretty nice be real nice if you had a boat dock you could take this thing out there and suspend it off the boat dock and see what you can do with it I've done a little reading in the instructions there and it says that the light is to be used in the water don't use it out of the water I don't know if you can see that but there's actually a hole that goes all the way through this that hole is actually to keep this thing cool from what I've seen so far I like this light. You can use it in 12 volt, 24 volt, or 110, or 220 with a converter. You can't ask for much better than that. All right, I'll try to get some pictures and I'll put them at the end of this video. I'm gonna fire these puppies up and see what we can get out of them. I'm gonna go out and do a little night stalking. I'm pretty impressed with those lights. Like I say, everything looks good. The customer service was great. The shipping was fast. I can't wait to get them on the water to see what I'll get. Uh, if you're interested in looking at some of these lights, just remember, go to Illumacy. I'll put a link down below, and that way you can just click on the link and go directly to their webpage. And in the promo code, if you decide to buy something, put in R-E-E-L-I-N, and that'll get you an additional 10% off. Like I say, I don't think you'll be disappointed. You can't beat a 30-day money-back guarantee and a five-year warranty. Well, here we are. Out here night fishing in January. Trying to catch us some crappy. I've had the lights out for about, I don't know, 15 minutes, I guess. This is a, a light I just got from Illumacy Aquatic Lighting. You can see that thing sure puts off a lot of light. And one thing I like about this light, it's the first time I've ever seen this on a light, is the fact that it has a dimmer on it. So once you get the bait fish drawn in here, you can just dim it right on down. Or put it as bright as you want it. Right now, I've got it as wide open as I can get it. Mainly because I'm starting to draw the fish in here to me. It's hard to tell, and I know it's awful bright. But man, that thing is putting off some light. If you do night fishing, especially for crappy, I don't think you could get a better light. 